Air is all around us, a vital mix of gases we need to survive. In many industrial processes, separating these gases from the air is crucial. This is where air separation units or ASUs come into play. They are marvels of engineering that utilize the properties of gases to isolate them for specific uses. ASUs are essentially large-scale distillation columns. They take advantage of the different boiling points of gases in the air. By cooling the air to extremely low temperatures, ASUs can selectively separate the gases based on when they turn back into liquids. From healthcare to manufacturing, ASUs play a crucial role in many sectors. The journey of air through an ASU begins with compression. Large powerful compressors draw in ambient air, increasing its pressure significantly. This compression is crucial as it prepares the air for the subsequent cooling stages. This compressed air, however, is not ready for immediate cooling. It carries with it impurities like dust, water vapor, and carbon dioxide, which can freeze and clog the system at the low temperatures involved in an ASU. To address this, the compressed air undergoes a crucial cleaning process. Filters of varying sizes trap solid particles, ensuring a smooth flow through the system. Next, the air passes through a drying unit where most of the water vapor is removed. Finally, the air is scrubbed of carbon dioxide, generally using a process called amine scrubbing. By the end of this stage, the air is essentially clean and compressed, ready for the next phase, the cooling process. This meticulous cleaning and compression are vital for the smooth operation of the ASU. With the air cleansed and compressed, the next crucial stage is cooling. The objective is to lower the temperature drastically, eventually reaching the point where the gases in the air transition into their liquid states. The first step involves using conventional refrigeration systems, similar to those found in your refrigerator at home. The compressed air passes through a heat exchanger, transferring its heat to the refrigerant, which then cools the air. This initial cooling brings the temperature down significantly but it is still not cold enough to liquefy the gases. However, it serves a vital purpose pre-cooling the air for the next more intensive cooling stages. The refrigeration cycle repeats, further lowering the air temperature. Efficient pre-cooling, coupled with the prior removal of these impurities, ensures the smooth operation of the ASU. The pre-cooled air is now ready for the final push towards liquefaction and separation. This stage utilizes a clever combination of expansion and specialized components like the expander turbine and the Joule Thompson, or JT valve. The expander turbine plays a crucial role in the cooling process. As the compressed air flows through this turbine, it expands, causing the turbine blades to rotate. This expansion process extracts energy from the air, causing its temperature to drop significantly. Following the expander turbine, the air, now significantly colder, enters the JT valve. This valve is specially designed to cause a further drop in temperature as the air expands through it. The now liquefied air, a frigid mixture, enters the distillation column. The distillation column operates based on the principle that different gases have different boiling points. The separated gases are then collected and stored, ready for distribution and use in various applications.